Well, um, I just got back from my uh, spine, spinal doctor, and uh, about three or four weeks ago, I got one of those shots in the back, um, and it really hasn't worked. I mean, there was a couple of days there where I thought I thought it had, but really hasn't worked. So now uh, I'm setting up to go into some spinal surgery. Um, it won't be till March 12th, though. Uh, and today's like February 25th. No, January 25th. Oh my God, it's my husband's birthday. Uh, oh damn, I didn't grab my car or anything. Um, I'm so forgetful. Anyway, um, Anyway, we don't celebrate birthdays and things like that anyway. It's just too much of a pain in the ass. Uh, anyway, uh, so March 12th, 2013. I am scheduled at 7.30 in the morning to go and have a spinal fusion. Uh, it's, it's minimally invasive, um, but um, maybe that'll work. I will be two days in the hospital. Um, which means I'm really not going to be able to smoke. So I will vape quietly, hidden <laughs> beside the curtain on my bed. Because I don't think they like vaping in hospitals either. Although it smells good. Um, my husband says my tobacco one smells like maple syrup. But, uh, anyway, um... So, I'm for it if, if it's going to work. Um, it's like my very last vertebra I'm down here. And uh, you put like a, a bar and screws to hook them together because it's spondylosis or something like that. Like my disc's out of place. Um, and so there's like a million things I've got to do before. Uh, before I can get the surgery, so I need to set up all these tests, and I need to uh, go back and pick up uh, this brace that um, once my insurance company uh, approves it, it um, I'm supposed to pick up this brace. I said, how it could be? Why don't I just pay for it now, and then you just take it out of my co-pays and whatever, and she said, believe me. You don't want to pay for this price. <laughs> it's two thousand dollars, <laughs> and it's to keep you from bending over or twisting or lifting anything. So uh, I'll have to read over the papers and see for how long that lasts. But I got to be in a brace and I got to stay in a brace for a while. But I'll only be in the hospital for a couple of days, and. Uh, and that ought to be, that ought to be good. Um, what else did I want to tell you? Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, nothing paranormal so far since the last time I spoke to you. Um, everything's real quiet, except for my cats. Um, my husband's real talkative, too. But so I didn't stop and get him a, a cake or anything, and you know what? He's not going to care. <laughs> so I got to st stop worrying about it. Um, I just feel like I don't do anything. And today, what I did was um, I got dressed. I actually put makeup on. Not a lot of makeup, but some makeup, and uh, and went to my spinal surgeon, Doctor Ibrahim. Um, I think I put the eye makeup on because he's good looking. <laughs> I don't know, you got you know, whatever. My husband loves me just the way I am, so I never have to worry about that. But, you know, other people kind of look at me like an old lady if I don't do something. I always get a better response from people when I'm looking better. And, uh... Of course, he told me I'd really like it if he stopped smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I said, well, I'll tell you what, I have a hard time smoking in the hospital. What if I just vape in the hospital? And she says, why don't you just vape now? <laughs> I said, because I don't want to. So anyway, anyway, so um, hopefully this is going to fi fix my back pain. I'm, I'm just really, I can't, I can't take, bend over and get stuff out of my dishwasher and put them up into the cabinets and bend down and pull up and bend down and pull up. I mean, I really hurt. And uh, and then, of course, it's not great. My lungs are getting squished every time I do that. So I can't breathe as it is. Um, so, uh, which reminds me, I probably need to make an appointment with my pulmonologist, my lung doctor. Anyway, so um, just wanted to uh, say hi, bring you up to date, and uh, nothing crucial. I'm still alive. <laughs> I mean, not after the surgery, but maybe some nurses will be having a problem with me with no nicotine in my system if they catch me vaping and don't want me vape. So I'll have to grab some kind of candy striper. And they still have candy stripers? And uh, push her. Tell her to push me out of the hospital into a place where I could smoke, like right in the middle of the parking lot. There's not much they can say about that, is there? <laughs> Close the garage and either turn the car on or light up a cigarette. I choose the cigarette. Yeah. Okay. Everyone have a great day. I'll see you later.